The Colorado River, a fading lifeline in a warming world. As we approach Earth Day, the Colorado River paints a stark picture of environmental crisis. This vital artery, once a powerful force carving canyons and nourishing ecosystems, now faces its greatest challenge, dwindling water levels. Over 40 million people rely on its life-giving flow, spanning seven U.S. states and Mexico. But the river's roar has become a whisper, echoing the urgent need for action. Unprecedented decline. The Colorado River, stretching 1,450 miles, is a testament to geological time and natural beauty. Yet, its source in the Rocky Mountains no longer boasts the same abundance. A persistent two-decade drought, fueled by a warming climate, has drastically reduced water levels in critical reservoirs like Lake Powell and Mead. This historic low is not just a passing phenomenon, it's a stark warning of a changing landscape. Beyond the drought, while the drought takes center stage, the story goes deeper. Excessive water usage by the seven western states and Mexico surpasses the river's natural flow. Since the drought began, consumption has outpaced supply by a staggering 33.6 million acre-feet. This unsustainable demand puts immense pressure on a system already struggling to cope. Dams and the paradox of progress. The iconic Hoover Dam, a symbol of human ingenuity, has ironically become a factor in the river's decline. Dams disrupt the natural flow, trap sediment, and contribute to evaporation. While they provide power and irrigation, the consequences for the river's health are undeniable. Ecological fallout. The shrinking Colorado River ripples far beyond human settlements. The once mighty flow, carrying up to 100 million tons of sediment annually, now struggles. This sediment nourishes ecosystems, builds deltas, and protects coastlines. Its loss has profound consequences for the delicate balance of life in the river and the Gulf of California. As the water recedes, the river's secrets emerge. From the skeletal remains near Coralville Bay, potentially linked to unsolved murders, to the B-29 bomber resting in Lake Mead, the drying landscape unveils a hidden history. These discoveries, while unsettling, serve as grim reminders of the river's deteriorating state. Addressing the crisis demands collective action. States, led by water-hungry California, face tense negotiations over water usage cuts proposed by the Biden administration. Finding a fair and effective solution requires compromise and a shared vision for the river's future. The Colorado River is not just a source of water, it's a cultural lifeline, a historical witness, and a vital ecosystem. Its decline is a wake-up call to our collective responsibility to protect our natural resources. We must implement sustainable water management practices, invest in innovative solutions, and prioritize long-term conservation efforts. The fate of the Colorado River hangs in the balance. Its story, one of resilience and decline, compels us to act. By acknowledging the complex factors at play, embracing sustainable practices, and fostering collaboration, we can work towards a future where the Colorado River once again flows, not just for the millions who rely on it, but for the generations to come.